I'm Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com. There are so many reasons that I should dislike this book. Marketing Lessons from the Grateful Dead by my friends David Meerman Scott and Brian Halligan. I should dislike this book. I'm sorry I never got whatever that gene is that you're supposed to get to become a Grateful Dead fan. I am not a fan of jam bands. I'm a musician. I like things tight. I am not their audience. I have never done drugs. Not that you have to do either of those things to like the Grateful Dead. Some people just like the music. I love the book. I wanted to hate the book. I really wanted to hate the book. I really wanted to hate the book. The book is about community. The book is about uh, how to work with an audience. It's a book about how to understand how an audience becomes a community. Marketing lessons from the... It's, I swear to God, what you should do is you should take a paper bag and cover it up if you're not a Grateful Dead fan and just still read this kind of stuff. Read, you know, they teach us to take risks and to experiment, to learn from our failures and successes, and to continually move forward. That's pretty good advice. Uh, and there's tons of it. There's tons and tons and tons of decent, useful advice in here. Um, it's, it's sort of uh, the kind of advice, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of detail on what you should do. But if you actually put this together, it works well. Something very simple. Uh, simple. The Grateful Dead eliminated the middleman and sold tickets directly to fans. When you control this, you control everything. Uh, later years, Pearl Jam did this. In later years, uh, bands started doing it like Radiohead. It's modern marketing. It's how we use the web. I'm, oh, I wanted not to like this book. I really did. Sorry, David. Sorry, Brian. David Merman Scott, Brian Halligan. Marketing lessons from the Grateful Dead. I think you need to buy it. I'm Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com.